Hi, welcome. This video is about the old ISO, right? We uh, always start with a particular version and then we update our systems. That's also fun and educational. So there are lots of uh, more ISOs out there. So this is the future ISO. Maybe we'll get a version 10 or so, but 2011, so November. I downloaded one from uh, our SourceForge or Seathouse, right? Two places to download it. And what we always do is boot it up in a virtual box and then update it because it's, um, well, first of all, updating is important for any operating system. If it's Linux, Windows or Mac, I always tell my students, you need to update. Don't be, uh, don't be alarmed if you haven't updated for a week. I mean, no problem. Just go on, on holiday or, or for work and all that. But updating is important. L latest versions, security, stability. That's why we do it. And hopefully a faster machine as well. So speed. So I'm going to install first the old version. It's important to note that the next version will be 3.2.32.1. And it will be awesome. You'll just see it. Now, this is not a video about how to install everything. So I'm just going to skip it all through and then shut down the video and install this thing, right? So the next uh, calamars you'll see there is no swap, swap, no hibernate, and swap with hibernate, and swap to file, right? So no partitioning, but just a file where it's going to put things. Sounds like a progress to me, right? More choices, more freedom, more freedom is more happy people. Next, but that's just me. Not gonna wait here. I mean, I'll just pause the video here and then we'll reboot. I had totally forgotten, forgotten I had this on my other computer. So, how shall we update from September to, well, almost November, right? Not almost. 10 days, 10 days, and there were 8 days, 9 days, and we are November. And then we start testing our ISOs in mid-November, the release. So this is our welcome scripts, or welcome app is better. Click, it's out of here. This is the status of September, right? Building of an ISO is freezing of packages. So we update our system, that's one thing, which means we're going to get a bunch of stuff in. People coming from Ubuntu or Susan or any other distro, they are amazed and surprised how many downloads you're doing, guys. It's so much. It's one point, etc. gigabyte big. And yeah, we use it to it, right? So 1.2 gigabyte, which is extracted this. But look at the size that the net upgrade is. It's 30 megabytes more. So it doesn't mean a thing, right? But it's indeed bent with wise. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, nothing we can do about it. So, adapt. A resistant, a resistance is futile, they say in the Borg, right? Just update the damn thing. What's important to know and look at already, we have done a bit of work, right? Anything that's changed the name that's updated here and anything called Arclix is changed somehow, right? And all the rest is Arch Linux. So it's a lot and lot. Let's say 90% is Arch, 5% is Arco and 5% is AUR because we have also something called Arch User Repository. Look at all those keys flash by. Guys, we have six keys in here, six developers. Our Arch Linux is built by, maintained by six developers. So we are giving each, each one of them has a key so we can make packages, we can sign it packages because, well, when you're moving from here to there, I mean, distro hopping, right? Signing of packages is important in the philosophy of Arch Linux. So all the things that are pointing to ETC scale, that's something else that's important in Arch Linux. Files that are written to ETC scales are not on your system yet, are not applied to your system yet. 
but all the changes that we do in etc scal is imp of is and are important right so at some point in time you should do a scal whether controlled via melt and you compare etc scal with your home folder or you do it without control so i trust these guys a type scal and scal is going to do something so the alias scal is gonna copy paste first everything is backup config backup right Control alt t oh sorry uh, super shift enter is what i want to do Control h is what i do when we type when you see this is the normal look right clean system but when we type a scale this happens it's better to show you right config backup 2020 as you can see we have here a folder a config backup and that's this thing here date year month day hour minutes and seconds so whenever you do a scale your config your your settings of wallpapers icons you name it right these things are in here now and this is well the files that are in etc scale only the files that are in etc scale will uh, overwrite your files only these guys that are in here are copy pasted over so that's that in the meantime we're probably ready so that's done up all i see here not an error we're gonna fix this thing right but first of all which means is there something from the aor that you have installed additionally right additionally and well we can fix this as well pseudo pacman minus r remove electron there is no application that's using electron 5 anymore and well electron 5 basically is gone missing aor patch package means nobody's going to maintain it because it's not used anymore so i can just safely say remove if some application now complains and says no that's a dependency of well then you can't remove it because your application needs electron 5. but gradually i think we're already electron 10 or something we're moving up and um, developers follow the new version of electron so the app stream thing scale we've done right arrow up arrow up update we've done it on another screen true and that means that in the dot config there should be a sorry there should be here sorry in the bin there should be a, f an, an, a folder bin stay rolling 2020 2009 to 2011 stay rolling that's the one we need take a look at what's happening to our nice pamac sometimes too bad right I need to reboot let's reboot and you'll see pamac is not healthy anymore all right so we're gonna fix this with the stay rolling but i just want to show you educational wise we should restart because there's a new arch Linux app stream data that's it that's the name arch Linux packages no arch Linux app stream data i think that's the name well soon we'll see by and by look there is a quit button oh that's new and then we have here pamac which is nice still nice damn it why are you still nice right it should have been broken so many of us have this um blank thing now with a sign in here we don't see any, any icons when we browse in here all cool right in here all good but here some of us are having a broken system so because of the fact that the app stream let's have a look pseudo pacman minus s um arch linux app stream data yeah i was correct so that's the latest latest one and here we have the issue right we've created a fix so if it's broken it gets fixed it's not broken well it doesn't get fixed so it's still working right 
Well, the application we want is AppStream. And as I said, unfortunately, I can't prove it to you guys, but it happens so often I was just getting frustrated by it. So in the bin, stay rolling, 2020, 9.2011, stay rolling, right mouse click, stay rolling. I'm gonna install some stuff for Probe, Control T. Probe is an interesting application or alias and it's working with HW Probe. So you should install the application. So AppStream is installed as you see here and HW Probe plus its dependencies as well, which means I have now a probe. And if users have problems and they go to the forum, this is the place to post this link, right? This tells everything about my machine. This is a probe of VM, its lifetime is limited, please don't share, I know. But then you are on hardware, of course, we don't want to um, see this for VirtualBox, we want to see this for real metal, right? So actual hardware but this will help you and help us to know what's going on on your machine now the upstream thing so this error that we saw that's gone again so if we do ctrl t and this again look what happens with the application being there the application upstream there is no error anymore and it says arch linux fixing icons AppStream cache updated completely successfully. Again, it says here the same thing, but we've put a fix in between. So if it really goes wrong, and that's it's a lot of times that this thing breaks and that we don't have icons, and it's not only for this guy, right? There's also the software from GNOME. If they're relying on all this same database, and if it's broken this database, well, you can wait for hours and hours, but you won't see any, any image at all. So this is how it should look, right? So you know that as well. It's also using the app stream. Do we need to do anything else? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Basically, this was an easy update, right? There's nothing complex to it. Nothing strange to it. No manual things to intervene or anything. So this is the same thing, manual thing, but I was getting bored with the manual thing. It's now fixed. Oh yeah, change name of Bibata cursor. That might be an issue. I don't know if what you've chosen for um, your cursor, but if you're following what we're doing, then let's have a look. Let's open it up. Please start reading code, right? There's so much fun in scripting. So user, share, icons, default, index team, sublime text. Pipata Ice, it's not gonna work anymore. Pipata changed its name. You need to change Pipata Ice manually, right? <laughs> you can do that manually as well, eh? Pipata Modern Ice, that's just a word extra but we have a few ssds lying around right and we just want to run the script and then we bought a modern modern ice is there so next time everywhere we'll see this little icon up here on all the desktops right just uh, not just this one, but, but awesome, uh, BSPWM, DWM, and you name it, right? All of them are fixed with this script. Okay, I really think I'm at the end of my story. We've done a scale, what you may, may or may not have seen, that we have also a new, some few uh, new bash or thes, bash or C things in here. Uh, one of them is big that's one and there is also something else that's quite interesting but we'll say that in what is new video later on but uh, just a quick one and this is down brother right 
you're using NSYNC, you're using Dropbox, and you wonder, oh my god, this Dropbox version is not working. Okay, I'll take the version number four from a while back, right? And you can go back in time if things get broken. So downgrade, I hope you know that one already. That's the official one. And downgrada is what we do for Arco Linux. The A stands for Arco Linux. Those two are interesting and I put some typo stuff in here as well. I sometimes type up all, right? Azerti and Querti and the A is a Q and hopla. It's gonna work. That's those are simple things. All right, no frustrations, just fun, enjoying your system. And that's all it's about, having fun and learning. Cheers.